Creed Tandy is a thick little bitch. I grew up in a creative family. And I always just wanted to figure out how to get more of it. And sometimes it doesn't work out, sometimes it does. Vincent Van Gogh said, uh, if you want to master many things, you must first master one thing and never trust the time you're without difficulty because that means that you're not pushing. Tell me if you think this is right. There's only one form of creativity, but it manifests itself in different mediums. I don't think you can own creativity, but I think you can borrow it. I always ask my assistants to, to I always try to take them to a museum, but creativity in the art, they can absorb that and borrow some and then come back and their, their musical skills are better. Isn't that what creativity is, though? It's really fascinating to think about where things are birthed. Like, what is the birthing place of music? Because every great musician that has ever lived was influenced and has borrowed from something. You know, when you track those greats, who they borrow with, and you go up the tree, like, who's, you know, who's on top of that tree? Yeah. And music, I like to, instead of, like, my heroes, I like to go look up their influences and then study those. Mm -hmm. And I can reassimilate that through my consciousness rather than be a copy of them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's so crazy. A lot of um, producers that come to our past the offices, they're, like, they're really young, 18, 18, 20. And some of them have stuff that sounds like what I was influenced by. But they're influenced by like the generation over so I'm like ultimately influenced by like Jacob. But like I hear these kids making these beats and they sound like those guys, but they're listening to, you know, lo fi music. And I'm like, oh, so you listen to Jay Dilla? And they're like, no, man, who's, who's that? P Rock. Like, no, I've never heard of P Rock before. Yeah, I think that the like, through another person who was influenced by Keats. When I was a kid, a lot of my friends from America thought the blues were invented in England. Wow. They had no clue about it. That's the crazy thing about like music overseas. My dad had this record called Pinoy Jazz. And you know, jazz music was like huge in the Philippines. I didn't know there was incredible musicians. In the incredible. All they were doing was mimicking what America was doing. Right? They made it their own version. And like, when you look at Japanese scratch them, they're borrowing from 90s New York streetwear hip hop. I kind of see that in music and art and everything. We're all borrowing from so much. Hey guys, it's been a minute. It's been so long. You guys are, oh my god. <laughs> when they come up and talk to me, it's yeah, like a therapy yeah. session. They're yeah. digging all the way in. Yeah, like so. I was always cool. very comfortable you just start the camera, which is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I wanted to ask them questions. You know what? Look at all the people. Do you need this for a little bit? Yeah. How do you do it? Oh, yeah, no, I mean, you have to be Fuck me, really. <laughs> Just one Grammy. <laughs> it was such a dickhead moment. Like. <laughs> if you could move it to your right. Yeah. 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 Can I pull this like three inches back? Yeah, go for it. Coming to you from the all-new Live House in Hollywood, California. 
also, I just want to shout out um, Pensado's Place, man, Dave and Herb. Like, these guys, if it wasn't for these guys, you know, my my podcast and, and all this amazing content on YouTube that you find everywhere, like the tutorial videos and, and all these self-help, you know, videos revolving around audio and, and, and music in general, music business, uh, wouldn't exist without this show. The, the amount of quality these guys put in to the show and, and the consistency over the years and the type of guests and just everything that they do is um, is inspiring to all of us. So, uh, you know, it's an honor to be sitting here. These guys are legends, man. There's nothing more to be said. You know?